One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 is back with another DLC pack, and as a big One Piece fan, I could not dream of a better trio to add to this game. Roger, Garp, and Rayleigh. Three incredibly hyped characters that were not playable in Pirate Warriors before, I am so happy they picked those. Roger and Garp are both power types, while Rayleigh is a technique type, and we're gonna check them all out in the new DLC missions, The Path to the King of the Pirates. Let's go. This first mission is a series of one-on-one -on -one battles, and if we're gonna go one-on-one, -on -one, I have to pick Rayleigh. He has this counterattack that just cannot be beaten. Oh, Garp as the announcer? I did not have that on my bucket list. That's cool. Diamante is the first boss, and it only gets harder from here. <laughs> All right. That's, uh, if I didn't know better, I'd say that's uh, this is the PvP mode, man. All right. So uh, first, let's expl explain the uh, Rayleigh gimmick. So you may notice that there's a little bit of a uh, mist around Diamante. If you look at it right now, there's a little mist. I can follow up with an attack, and then the mist will do that follow-up attack. Basically, almost any combo will mark your enemies. And after you mark your enemies, your next uh, triangle attack, your strong attack, will uh, just trigger a bonus attack. Air attacks also apply it. Or some of them. I guess this one didn't. Check out the special. It's so cool. <laughs> Projectile into a flurry of attacks. Rayleigh is so sick. He might be my favorite of the entire DLC as far as moveset goes. Yonji is up next. Got it. Okay, I haven't shown you the counter yet, so this is a great time. Now, if they attack me during this animation, they get countered. But the thing is, they don't have to attack me during the animation because the counter just stays. It's an aura. It just stays. You don't even have to time it. Oh, dodge those cannonballs. Uh-huh. Gets hit. Follow-up attacks. Now, he has uh, a couple of ultimates. This is the one that I chose to, to show because I think that's the better animation. There's another ultimate that might be a better one, but it's kind of just like a big flurry of slashes. But I think dodging the cannonballs and doing that stuff is, is just is just a lot prettier. Oh, side mission. Uh, give Yonji a beating while maintaining a 30 hit combo. I think I did that. Yeah, there it is. I guess that's how you uh, gather the audience points. The audience is going wild. I can't even count all those attacks. It's just 30, Garp. I guess it doesn't take much to become a Marine Admiral. You don't even need to know how to count until 30. Land a 40 hit combo to weaken his fighting spirit. Okay, 40 hit combo. Here we go. This might be hard. Da 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 da. Okay, one, two, three, four. This is probably my best bet for a 40 hit combo. Yes, there you go. One, two, three. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh boy. Oh my god. I almost died there. I almost died right there. This is only the fourth fight out of 10, and I almost lost it right there. Damn, they started with super armor right away. Yeah, this is definitely getting harder. Is she not taking damage? What's going on? Okay, she's gearing up for action. Oh, let me go counter. I hit the counter, and she was not affected at all. I hit the counter again. Yeah, I mean, she's getting affected, but she's not uh, breaking. Her armor is just hyper. Okay, finally. Oh, I needed to land the 40 hit combo for her to become breakable. Interesting. I guess the same happened with Bartolomeo. I just wasn't paying attention. One, two, three, four. Can I get a little more? Down she goes! Sweet! Alright. Counter. Bonk. Okay. Okay. What? Give me the side mission already. Uh-huh. It's a 40 hit combo again. Okay. Got him. Big projectile. Whoa! Where did he go? Oh no. I canceled too soon. Oh right! I gotta show you the cancel. So you guys have seen the projectile special, right? So if I do it and then wait for the explosion, I can actually cancel with a dash and get in. So I can keep the combo going with the explosion on my side. Oh, 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 with the jump cancels! That was cool, that was cool. Uh, Carrot is not breaking with the 40 hit combo. Uh, I'm on 70, 80. I finally broke her. What was the quest? 40 hits? Yeah, it, okay, so the quest was the same, but because it didn't kick in, it took a while for her stuff to break. Okay, all right, she's gonna do stuff. I'm gonna activate the counter. Stop that. <laughs> You see why I pick Rayleigh for the 1v1s? Honestly, wish they gave me different side quests to break the armor. Why is it always 40 hits? Make it interesting. Randomize it. And it's once again 40 hits. Anyway, I like the idea of the Colosseum, the one-on-one -on -one battles. That's kind of cool. But uh, by round number nine, I'm pretty bored. Is round 10 Garp? Is, is Garp the final battle? Oh, it's Luffy. Okay. Now that makes sense. Luffy is usually a pretty annoying character to fight too, because he uh, ends up ignoring a lot of your attacks. He's got a boss battle health bar. I got the 40 hits. Game. Give me the side mission. 
Wait, is he just not gonna break the entire fight? He might not break the entire fight. I guess Luffy's just not gonna break. He's gonna be in hyper armor the whole time. I guess that is a little bit more challenging. Uh, yeah, counter's not gonna work. It's completely useless, actually. I might I might actually die. If I don't start dodging, I might actually die. If I knew counter was gonna be useless, maybe I would have brought a different loadout, but... I don't know, counter was useful until now. Maybe not. Uh, does this hit? It does, but, like, he's not carried by the projectile, so... Its use is also very limited. He pretty much made my whole build useless. What if I just stay in his face? That's a bad idea. That's a terrible idea. That's really, really bad. Bro, I'm not, I don't want to do 10 battles again. Hang on. Okay, that's that's health. Uh, there's more health here, right? Yeah, health. Uh, attack power. Okay, you're done. GG. Some of these cannonballs miss sometimes, which is why maybe the other ultimate is better. But again, I picked this one for you guys. I'm barely making it through. That's crazy. Let's go. Last fight, kind of fun, not gonna lie. But by fight 7 or 8, I was getting kind of bored. Let's see if the next mission is better. For the second event, we're gonna test our knowledge of the Grand Line, solving a puzzling array of difficult questions to prove our intellect. Uh, of the three, I'm gonna say Garp is probably the smartest one, so let's go with him. The questions cover up to the end of the Land of Wano arc in the One Piece anime. Got it, got it. I <laughs> I'm up to speed. Okay, so we're still playing. All right, try to get every question correct. I, I will do my best. Head to the target area. Okay, right there in the middle. Uh, Give those what who have never been in the Four Emperors a beating. Hancock has never been a Four Emperor. Shanks has. And who's the other one? Oh, Teach? Nah, it's Hancock. Okay, so now we beat up Hancock. As I explain, uh, what the hell is uh, Garp's moveset? Throw the cannonballs! Uh, here's his ultimate. This is probably his best ultimate. Sorry, the animation was kind of scuffed. You'll see it again. God, it's already already out. It does a wrestling move on Hancock. That was cool. Here's a ground pound. Boom. I like that ability a lot. All right, so Garp's gimmick is... Uh, first of all, he has no air combos. He just does one punch or a dive punch. That's it. So do not jump with Garp. What's the question, sir? But his gimmick is, over time, he builds up hockey on his fists. And then he can unleash the hockey with some of his strong attacks. Give the zone users a beating. So, I uh, Cracker, I don't think, is a zone user. Zone uh, are the animal fruit users. You are a zone user. The ultimate zone user. Phoenix is a fake animal. All right, wrestling moves. <laughs> what I like about this move is that it actually hits a lot of armored enemies. A lot of these grab type moves sometimes will not work if the enemies have armor. And Garp does, and actually he very often will grab the right person, the one that you want. Ground pound. Ooh! Maybe we should get a question wrong. I, I want to see what happens. Give those who are captain of a pirate crew a beating. Katakuri is not a captain. He's a uh, big mom's. Uh, crocodile. I don't think crocodile is a captain of a crew. Maybe he was back in the day, and he's definitely like a leader of sorts, but not the captain of a crew. Buggy is definitely the right answer here. There you go. So as you can see, uh, Garp now has Gathered Key on his hands, so he his attacks are much stronger. And if you go into full burst, you just have key all the time. That's his gimmick. Now, Paramisha power users. Uh, Big Mom, I don't think is a Paramisha. Akainu definitely is. Ground Pound! There you go. No, that was a failure? What? No, Drake is a zone type. What's a Paramecia? Oh no, I'm mixing up the terms. Akainu is a Logia type. That, that's what I... Oh, fail two more questions and you'll be defeated. Okay, okay, okay. Paramecia is just regular fruits. There's zone, which is animals. There's Logia, which is elements, sort of. Okay, uh, who's never been imprisoned in Impel Down? Ivankov has been, yes. Uh, Kaido, probably never in Impel Down. Uh, Jinbe was definitely in there, so okay, Kaido. I know the entire life of Kaido, maybe at some point he was there, but... The other two were definitely there, which means the right answer is, uh, Kaido here for sure. Alright, down he goes! Down he goes! Correct answer! I just got exposed for not knowing fruit types. What is Nami's alias in, uh, well, I don't wanna... Onami, I think. I think it's Onami. Are those the only two? No, there's someone else out here. Namiko? No, okay, it's Onami. <laughs> I'm actually not 100% sure of this one, but let's... Wrestle! Onami! Oh, yes! Cool wrestling moves, man. Boom! Correct! What is the name of the former doctor for the Roger Pirate? Oh, I don't know this one. Sweden does not sound... Crocus? Those do not sound... Oh, no, none of those sound familiar. Who's the doctor of the Roger Pirates? Uh, anemone. Let's, let's go there. Uh, this is 100% random. 
Incorrect. Too bad. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? What else am I supposed to do? Chopper's alias in uh, the land of Wano. Uh, Chopper Yoshi, that's wrong. Chopomaru, maybe? I think it's Chopperamo. It's like a, it's a, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Ugh, I'm also not sure. Let's go. Let's go. We got it. We got it. What is Sanji's name when transformed in the raid suit? Not Dandy Mask is a good one. No, it's Soba Mask. So Soba. Oh. Soba Mask. Easy. Next. What is the name of the sprite set to take residence in ships cherished by their crew? What? What are you talking about? Is this like the, the Merry Go Spirits? Clavalterman? Uh, Clownterman? I have no idea. Can I just get all three of them? In one ultimate? <laughs> what do you mean incorrect? I definitely got the right answer there. Oh, don't feel bad. The only way from here is up. I didn't fail. What I did? Give those who've been a captain a beating. Okay, so here is Shanks. It's the same question, but different characters. I guess there is some randomness to it. That's cool. Zone powers. Uh, Kizaru is a Logia. Sengoku? That's not a zone, is it? Who's the other one? What? What? No, that's candy. That's not an animal. Oh, I'll go Sengoku. I'm not sure about this one, but if someone's a zone here, it's definitely Sengoku. Also, are these guys stronger? They're taking longer to die. Okay, correct. Damn, okay. Learn something new every day. Give those who Luffy only met after entering the new world a beating. I think he only met Uroge after meeting entering the new world. Beiji? Uh, he might have met in Shabori, so that's not new world yet. Killer, also Shabori. I'm gonna say Uroge. Incorrect? No! Who was it? What is Brook's alias in Land of Wano? Brook, 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 Brook. Uh, Bonshin? Oh, actually, maybe. Bonekchi? Uh... Boneji. Oh, god damn it. I'm gonna say Bonekchi. Sounds more familiar. I really don't know this one, though. Let's go! What is Nami's? Oh, we know this one. Onami. Oh, Zoro's. Uh, Zoro's alias in Zoro Judo. Yep. What's the name of the sprite? No! No, it's the same question! It's the same. Okay, I'm gonna go for Club Alterman. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go! No more questions. 90% correct. Yeah, one one wrong, one wrong. I'll own up to that and get it better in the future. For now, let's move on to the next mission. Grand Line Pioneer. The faster you are, the further you will go on these oceans. Use Power Dash to scatter your foes and make some headway. So here's the thing. I don't think any of the new DLC is particularly good at Power Dashing. But we haven't played Roger yet, so I guess that leaves us with one option. Welcome to Garp's Great Leg Day course. You haven't been taking it. Okay, so it's a race. Aim for the goal, passing through the checkpoints. These guys just have one HP, and they keep refilling your uh, power dash meter. Okay, yeah, just pick a sky type for this, honestly. Roger is in first place. Yeah, you're not gonna get to see the Pirate King in action in this mission. I do apologize. Give Tashiji a beating. Oh, never mind, maybe he will. Okay, so his gimmick is that he can hold the strong attacks. Every single one of them. So let me show you an example here. If I do two attacks into strong, like, so one, two, into strong. He does that. And that's cool. That's a follow-up. Okay. But if I do one, two, and hold the strong. Oh, look at how much more powerful that is. That's his gimmick. Uh, here's a cool thing. <laughs> this projectile deals so much damage. Oh, he's right in front of me. So dead. So dead. All right. Is that the finish line? Yes. Success! Roger wins! Uh, this is probably a lot more fun with a Sky Type. And that wasn't nearly enough, Roger, so let's move on to freer than anyone. Like the man himself once said, the king of the pirates is freer than anyone else on the ocean. Go wild, be free, and prove those words to be true. I don't know what that means, let's find out. Oh, defeat as many enemies as you can within the time limit. Yeah, Roger seems like a good one for that. Uh, where do we go, where do we go? A thousand enemies within five minutes and we already started. Sweet, okay. Are they just one touch? They are! Oh, okay, wait, hey, wait a second. If I power dash, okay, if I power dash, they don't die. Okay, this is a lot faster than I thought. These guys are super weak. A new territory has appeared? Okay. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. I think this is gonna go for as long as you can. Or I guess like for five minutes, but you gotta defeat as many as you can within five minutes. That's what I meant to say. All right, let's just do an ultimate to close things out. We're on 7,000 with five seconds left. Three, two, one. 
Zero, we got 7,500, I think. That's an S rank, okay. And I believe that has unlocked the final mission of this DLC, which is the true pirate warrior king. The four emperors, the might of the navy, and Roger and his crew all lie in wait. Bring this battlefield of chaos under your control and become the true pirate warrior king. Final mission, here we go! One, two, three, four, hello ace, and Marco, and Whitebeard. Okay, Whitebeard crew, have a tornado right in the middle of them. Yes. Okay, they do not die in one hit anymore, okay? This is for real now. This is for real now. That's a good attack, though. Okay, big ultimate. Ooh, I'm not dealing any damage. That's crazy. How long is this gonna take? Wait, they're th taking so long to die. Oh my god, I gotta do all four emperors? I'm gonna- I'm gonna be dead! Well, hold up a second. Ace! Ace! Marco! Whitebeard! Hold up a second! That's cool. I guess this is actually balanced. For you to be max level, plus unlocking the soul maps. It's gotta be. The game did not have this hard of a challenge yet. Let's equip Indomitable Spirit, which is also gonna heal us when we use full burst. Oh, careful. Ace, Ace, Ace is, uh, is doing full burst stuff. We are full health now, so that single skill change is actually doing a lot of work for us. Problem is when full burst ends. That's when we're gonna go into survival mode, but we'll, we'll tackle that when we get there. We got there. Okay, here we are. Uh... Uh, get out. Projectile. Good damage. Uh, due to unfavorable situation, Ace gears up for battle. Wasn't he already geared up for battle? What do you mean? Okay, we got our ultimate. Straight up on Whitebeard, man. No one else is my target. Yes. Oh, we got another ultimate. That's... Oh, no, no, no. Let him do, let me do it. Yes, on Whitebeard. And Mar Marco might go down here. Let's go. All right, that's one out of three. Oh, my God. Look at that damage, dude. Boom. Oh, sweet. All right, Whitebeard down. I've defeated 2,000 enemies. I haven't even moved yet. It's crazy. Well, how is he alive? Wait, okay, he dies here. Whew. All right, next. Burgess and Teach. No breaks, man. No breaks. This should be easier, right? This should be easier. There's no way this is going to be as hard. Okay, into ultimate. We're actually pushing these guys into Big Mom territory. Uh, we're about to just put Teach and Big Mom together. I don't know if that's a great idea. Because Big Mom and Katakuri and... Oh, who, who else? Did I see Prospero? Oh, no, just Cracker? Okay. Prospero would be uh, would be tough. Because Prospero is annoying to fight. But yes, all of them here together. Uh, Hawkins is here. Am I, am I making my way to Kaido? I am. Okay, great. Yeah, all right. I'm really asking to die at this point. I'm just really asking to die at this point. If I damage all of them at the same time, they all die quicker, right? Right? This will be fine. This- Oh my god. Did you see my health melting there? I have one final adjustment. We're gonna get the ultimate I don't like. Okay, okay, okay. Now we do the ultimate. They're all here. Let's see the damage this deals. Oh my god, that's not as much as I thought. Is Teach sucking everyone into the black hole? Like, not just me, but the bosses too? Let's go. We survived this. We survived this barely, but we do. We gotta run away. Okay. Full burst. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, okay. Break everyone's armor. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. All right, white beard, right in his face. He's gotta go down here. He's gotta go down. Did he back off? No, what? Oh, he recovered his armor and backed off, didn't he? Let's go. One, two. Slash. Ace is down. Burgess is down. Slash again. Tornado. And my ultimate. Right in his face. Right in his face. Bring down the first emperor. Okay, okay, okay. He's swinging, he's swinging. Now we're gonna use these guys to build up our specials again. Because hitting enemies does that. And we got full burst again. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. I feel so much safer with full burst, man. Because you just keep healing. Alright, tornado. And I'm not sure if I should use my ultimate on Whitebeard because he's that low. So just finish him with normal attacks. Marco is down. Is Whitebeard down? I don't think he is. But let's hit uh, Teach with the ultimate. Maybe Whitebeard dies. Yes! Whitebeard down, but we got most of the damage on uh, Teach, which is what we wanted. Teach is far away from everyone else. One, two, charge it up. We don't have full burst, so we have to charge it up. Roger, let's go. He's down. No, what? Okay. Why is he immune? Wait. Why is he not losing health? Come on. 
Come on. Come on. What do you mean? You gotta go. You gotta go. How is he still alive? Oh my god. Tornado. <laughs> he doesn't die. He doesn't die. Finally. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. That's two emperors down, two to go. All right, big mom, straight up, straight up. Straight in her face. Oh my, I lost so much health just getting in here. Okay, straight into full burst. One, two. Ba -ba 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 Big damage. What is... Cracker? I like this. That means I'm gonna have to work at it. I'm gonna have to level up. But that's gonna do it for this DLC. If I had to pick a favorite character, moveset-wise, it's Rayleigh. No doubt. And as far as the DLC missions go... This is a bit closer to what we have with the treasure log right now. But every single one of these missions is very unique. I mean, we have the quiz, we have the one-on-ones. They definitely got creative with these. I like them a lot. That said, if you want to farm souls, I think you're still going to go to Yamato's Adventures. Kobe's Combat Chronicle is really the weakest one of the three, in my opinion. Way too repetitive, way too grindy. I really didn't like that one too much. But as always, it's been a pleasure to come back to One Piece Pirate Warriors 4. That should conclude Season Pass 2, and I look forward to seeing what they do next. Is it more DLC, or are we finally ready for a sequel? Pyre Warriors 5 is gonna be fire, I can tell. But if you've missed the last DLC, it's got Kobe, it's got Uta, and it's got Shanks, who is actually one of my favorite characters to play right now. Check out the video right here, and thank you so much for watching. Boy.